In problem number 38 of section 2.6, we're given a data set which we assume follows a standard normal distribution. So in other words, a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one. And we're asked to use the trapezoidal method to approximate the proportion of data that's between zero and two. Uh, now in problem 36, you showed that the density function of the standard normal distribution is 1 over the square root of 2 pi times e to the negative x squared over 2. So really what we're interested in uh, to find the proportion of data is uh, the integral from 0 to 2 of the density function. So if we pull the 1 over square root 2 pi out. And on the inside, we have e to the negative x squared over 2 dx. Uh, now this is a rather difficult integral to compute, so this is why we're just going to use an approximation. 1 over the square, uh, excuse me, square root of 2 pi uh, times, now uh, to use the trapezoidal method, uh, Let's use, say, n equals 4. All right, so now we're breaking up into 0, 1 half, um, 1, and 3, ha 3 halves, and 2. And so start out with delta x, which now is just 1 half uh, over 2, so 1 quarter, times uh, f of f of 0. Actually here I'm slightly abusing the, the notation because um, here I, as f, f of x is actually referring to the entire density function, but here since I've already factored out 1 over 2 pi, I really want to just look at e to the negative x squared. So I'm going to call this g of x. Um, g of x is equal to e to the negative x squared over 2, just to avoid any potential confusion. This is plus 2 times g of 1, plus 2 times g of 2, uh, so this should be 1 half, it's 2 times g of 1, plus 2 times g of 3 halves, uh, plus g of 2. All right, now if you go ahead and plug this all into calculator, you'll find that this is approximately equal to 0 0.475. Um, so in other words, 47.5 percent of the data lies between 0 and 2. Now, the second question asks, well, what about, what's the proportion of data between negative 2 and 2? Now, the thing here to realize is that uh, the normal distribution is symmetric about the mean. Um, so that's actually any normal distribution, not just the standard normal. We can see that by, say, if we take a positive x value, well, if we take the negative of that, then we're just squaring the negative x value, we're going to get the exact same value. So the density function is actually symmetric about the mean, which in this case is 0. All right, so in other words, there's going to be just as much data between uh, negative 2 and 0 as there is between 0 and 2. So between negative 2 and uh, n2, there's going to be 2 times uh, 0 0.4 Seven five, which is equal to 0.95 or 95% of the data between 0 and 2.